I've finished the main wiring and valance wiring on the small blocks pack. It's all up and running. I'll show you how I did the wiring and you can see what you think. So, we have valance wires are all connected via these little connectors here. Uh, these actually come from um, they get used a lot in Arduino projects. Uh, they are used for plugging wires in prototyping boards. So the benefit of that is that the whole wiring harness can be removed and reconfigured if I change the layout of the batteries. Um, so that's all the balance wires. The main power wires are these 4mm banana plugs and I've got so negative and then these little short uh, but quite firm short little connectors that join the, each group in the string so negative and then the positive of that one goes to there to there, to there plug this one back in and so on, all the way to the positive. Uh, once again, what that means is that I can reconfigure this um, layout any time I like, and I can also unplug any group out of the pack, so turn the pack off, remove a pack if I happen to find that one is going sour, if one is performing really poorly, I can unplug it, pull it out, and replace it with a spare. Um, at yeah, the drop of a hat, you can probably do that in under a minute. Um, so that's quite a good convenience feature. Um, so I'll show you what the overall voltage is at. That's all plugs in there. That's all good. So the pack is currently charged up to 28.43 volts. I, I use the eye charger to charge it up and I use the 4 kilowatts of battery that I've built up so far to power the eye charger. So this was charged from the other 4 kilowatt hours of battery. Uh, so that was kind of cool. And the balance wires, uh, currently I don't have it plugged into a BMS. I could do that at some stage. Uh, Basically, I like the power shelf. I'm going to just see how it goes without a BMS and just um, only use a BMS if it looks like I need it. I'll check it at least once a day. And uh, so this thing is like $2 each off AliExpress or eBay. Incredibly cheap. And it cycles through each cell telling you what it voltage it is, then the high and the low and the differential is 0 0.08 volts which is not too bad um, and then it cycles through the individual cells again and um, it has a low voltage alarm uh, it's really loud when you plug it in and when the alarm goes I'll show you yeah it's that bad. Um, and that will make that annoying sound um, if the voltage on any one cell goes below a set limit and you can actually program it. There's a button there you can use to program the low voltage alarm buzzer sound. Uh, so I've got one of those running on the power shelf and I'll have one on this until it looks like I need something more serious. Um, and there, there it is, basically. It's um, all looking pretty good. All I need to do now is discharge it a bit so that that comes down to the same voltage as the other 4 kilowatt hours. The 4 kilowatt hour pack is sitting at 26.2 volts. Um, we've had a horrible winter um, southerly 
not quite a storm, but miserable cold weather. Uh, I think right at the moment it's uh, 2 degrees Celsius outside. Not much warmer here in the garage. Um, so we've had lousy solar, so the, the main battery pack uh, hasn't been recharged that much. It's been rain and cloud all, all day for the last three or four days, and I think we've got another three days of that. So um, I'm going to discharge this down to match the rest of the packs and then plug it in with everything else. And then I'll be up to five kilowatt hours all up. Um, and then it'll be time to start on another small group um, pack like this one. And uh, forge ahead. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.